of all, I am the Princess of Chaos. Well, I'm not really a princess. I only get that title because my dad's the Lord of Chaos. You know, not the King of Chaos. It's somehow I get princess because Lady of Chaos just sounds really weird. And Duchess just sounds old. So, this is what it would sound like if I was 10 years old. You know, somewhere along the lines of this. You know, despite being a princess of chaos, I'm not usually taken seriously. Hey, I can be very, very serious. For instance, when I first met Mothball, I was totally serious and focused. Especially on his Swiss cheese legs. Yeah, no, not in a creepy way, but come on! The kid has holes in his legs. Holes in his legs! And it doesn't even hurt. Yeah, that is amazing if you ask me. Yeah, I was totally focused. Focused in a very serious manner. You know, not just on the legs, but also his spider webby hair and his big bug eyes. Yeah, serious, focused. You know, I'm also very serious whenever I get into trouble. You know, when I, huh, drop a piano on some pony, and sometimes ponies call me a monster or a freak and I'm worried that I might be turned into stone like daddy was. Oh, but daddy and mommy say that's not gonna happen. You know why? Because I am a good pony. I am a very, very good pony. I mean, I do okay in school. I stick up for my friends, especially Dinky. You know, everyone's always picking on Dinky because, you know, her eyes are kind of looking in different directions. She gets it from her mom. You know, that's how we became friends. We both have weird eyes. But one time I was sticking up for Dinky, I totally lost it and I got into big trouble. Yeah, this was kind of the conversation that went on. Screwball, isn't there something you want to tell Daddy? About what? About what happened at school today? You know, Mom, a lot of stuff happened at school today. Okay, okay, I'll tell him. All right, story time. What did you do this time? Oh, you see, I, I, uh, played basketball with Gold Digger and Silver Tray. That's nice. <sighs> they were the basketballs. Daddy thought it was hilarious. Mom put him in a timeout. <laughs> I remember his face when he was all, Oh, you can't kick me out of bed! I'm master of this house here! So Mom had me put up a force field around their bedroom. <laughs> Daddy was really mad! You know, I'm not gonna sound like this the entire time because, you know, ponies grow up and their voices get a little bit deeper. So, you know, if I was around 15, I would sound something like this. And you know, at 15, I get totally more serious, especially when it comes to romance. Though my daddy says I should avoid cults at all costs. Why? Because he's crazy. That's why. And you know, if I was dating some pony, I wouldn't tell dad about it. Because, well, he'd probably incinerate him. I'm not exaggerating. He would literally burn him to a crisp. Daddy gets that mad. But, you know, he means well. I mean, he's my daddy. Mom, I think, would be okay with it, though she'd probably be a little overprotective, too. Not as overprotective as daddy. I mean, mom can't burst into flames like he can. Well, maybe she could, but she wouldn't live afterwards. Now that I'm older and more mature, I don't really lose control of my magic that often anymore. Though... Every now and then, I will pull the occasional prank on Aunt Pinkie Pie. Like this one time, we got this giant catapult of water balloons. But it was not full of water. It was full of cake batter! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, got really loony there. Well, I've been here long enough, so bye, every pony. And next time we meet, please bring a flugelhorn and some hiking boots. Trust me, you'll need them. Have a chaotic day!